So my overall thoughts on the trailer steering system. Hey everyone, it's Ben Hardy here. And in today's video, we're gonna be going over a 2021 Ram 1500 Limited. More importantly, this truck has the multifunction tailgate and the new trailer backup system. The multifunction tailgate is obviously not new, but the backup system is. And that's the main reason why I picked up this truck for today's video. First and foremost, a huge shout out and thank you to the Dodge Ram here in Sandy for providing us with the truck. Check out their inventory in the link below. Let's get straight into the video. Under the hood of the Limited, we have a naturally aspirated 5.7 liter V8 Hemi that goes through an eight speed automatic transmission. Power outputs are 395 horsepower and then 410 pound feet of torque with fuel economy being 17 around town and then 22 on the highway. Let's go over the front end on the Limited, and this is kind of like a more traditional look for the Limited. So you've got the regular hood that comes with the Limiteds, and then now you've got the little e-torque badge there on the side, and then you still get the projector LEDs with the little LED accent lights that are just around those. And then this one has the full chrome grille, because again, it's just a standard Limited, but this one's got the body painted bumper group, so at least the bumper matches the rest of the truck. And then you got the fog lights down below with the tow hooks and the parking sensors. But yeah, other than that, this is completely unchanged from the 2019 model year, other than the little e-torque badge. Now coming around the side here, we've got 275 millimeter tires on 20 inch wheels in the front and over in the rear as well. And this one's in the off-road two ride height setting. So you guys can see just how tall the truck can get. The Limiteds do come standard with air suspension. Easy way to tell. Got the little canister right there that'll show you that it has the air suspension. And then so you've got the Ram Limited little logo right there. And if you look at this from the side again, other than the e-torque badge, it looks identical to the 2019 model year. Now coming into the back of the truck, you've got the plastic covering here of the multifunction tailgate, which we'll go over that in a moment. LED bed lights, this one's got the bed utility groups, so you've got the rails there on the side, and then full bed liner, and then this one has the regular cargo light up there. This one doesn't have that camera system that you can get with the trucks. But yeah, other than that, this is a regular size bed, so it's the five foot seven bed, and yeah, nothing really changed from the 2019 or 2020 model year, actually. Taking a look at the multi-function tailgate, you guys saw how that operates. Pretty simple to open, so you can open up like a regular tailgate or you can do kind of like the barn door effect. Obviously this side is a little bit longer than the other side. And remember, you always have to close it in the same order. They got all the warning labels on it and everything, but you've always got to close that one first and this one second or it won't shut whatsoever. But notice that the little bed step has actually changed. So it's this little thing right here. So it's in the middle versus on the outside like in the normal trucks. So the functionality is a little bit different. So literally what you have to do is you kind of have to like pull it down that way. It's a little bit more awkward to get out, but it's right here in the middle. So like you can see stepping into the bed with the multifunction tailgate and this bed step is a whole lot easier. And then putting it back is a lot easier than getting it out. So it's just kind of like awkward to get the thing out. Now let's go over things in the rear. So we've got the same LED lights with the chrome badging here in the back, chrome exhaust tips as well. Here's the tow package. Towing capacity on this particular truck is right around 11,000 pounds because it has the 392 axle ratio. And then here's a quick look at everything in the rear from the suspension standpoint. And you can even see like with the air canister, sorry, it's hard to get back here. You can kind of see the setup there in the rear to lift up the back, but that is everything for the back of the Limited. Here's the door panel in the rear. Nothing has changed material-wise. They still use the really nice leather stitching, embroidery, wood trim, all that kind of stuff. Nothing's changed here. Still got the same power running boards, but let's actually pop in. So quickly stepping in here. You can see stepping height's pretty good. If you guys are running, I'm 5'11", and this one's got the reclining seats, so... If you're taller than me, then you fit even better. But anyways, legroom still really solid as well. This one has the limited level one. So you got the heated ventilated seats back here. You got the little charging area, more of the wood trim with a couple cup holders. And then the rear passengers, if they have even more soda or whatever, got more cup holders, got more storage space, all the storage space in the world. Seats, very nice. You guys can see premium leather with the stitching and everything. Just feels nice to the touch, smells nice, looks nice. It is nice. That's the rear. 
Now here's the door panel at the front. Again, you've got all of the leather trim that goes all through it here with the embroidery, the wood trim, and then more of the leather up top, all soft touch. And then, yes, this one's got the power folding mirrors and it's got the trailer mirrors. So press that button and then that'll power fold the mirror right in. And then press again and it'll fold it right out. You've got the memory seats. And if you guys aren't familiar with the trailer mirrors, these are the mirrors that actually pop up to the side. They do have blind spot monitoring in them as well. So you get like all the functionality of the smaller mirrors and some. And then here's the seat at the front. So again, really nice premium leather. You got the nice piping, stitching, all that kind of stuff all throughout the seat. There's your adjustments on the side of the seat. Then you can see your pedal adjustments just down below. You've got a little parking brake with the adjustments for the pedals. And then you can see you've got your light control right there, adjustment for the steering wheel. And there's one more look before we actually pop in. Now here's the steering wheel in the Limited. Again, nothing has changed here. So still got the nice wood trim with the nice leather and stitching. And then you can see over here, you've got the cruise control, the adaptive cruise control, the gear limiter right there. And then you've got this for the center stack, the voice command controls, radio controls in the back of the steering wheel, and then your little stock for the windshield wipers. But that is everything for the steering wheel. Here in the center stack, you still got the same gauges. Sorry about the glare, but you've got the RPMs on the one side, you got the speed on the other side, and then there in the center screen, you can see there's a couple different menus you can kind of scroll through, just to give you different bits of information on the vehicle. Again, pretty straightforward, pretty simple to use. The only thing that's changed that I've found on the trucks is just the off-road page. They didn't have that before, where now they've got an off-road page, um, but everything else in the center is pretty much the same. Now, this is the part that everyone has been waiting for. Yes, we've got the trailer backup system down there, but we'll go over that in just a moment. Coming to the shifter, this is unchanged, so you still get the drive line select right next to it. The limiteds do come with the four-wheel auto as well as the four-wheel high, and then you've got the auto stop start just down below, and then you have to have your foot in the brake, obviously, to go into different gears. And by the way, if you're in drive and then you like open the door or something like that, it'll automatically throw it back into park for you, which is definitely a nice little safety feature. And then coming up to the top, we've got the lane departure assistance and then the parallel and perpendicular parking assistance. Climate controls on either side of the infotainment system, and you got the radio controls. And then, yes, we have the whole trailer system right here. So first off, see how the controls are changed. See, so the trailer brake control is pretty much the same as what it's in the other trucks. But notice how they've had to move the air suspension button over here to the side. So this is what raises and lowers the air suspension. You get your tow haul mode to turn that on or off. Your stability control and then your parking sensors if you don't want those on. Now the trailer backup system itself, obviously it's with the trailer steering. So here's the deal. A lot of people might be confused and think that this steers the trailer itself. Trailers don't have engines, they don't have all that kind of stuff, so it steers the truck. And so what it basically does is when you're connected to the trailer, similar to what Ford's system does, is you can basically turn it from side to side to steer the whole truck system and everything to get it right where you're going. A little bit more straightforward than when you're trying to do it yourself with the wheel. Definitely makes it a lot easier with the camera system. And let's actually get into the camera system. Popping it into reverse, you can see the camera system that pops up. So you got the bird's eye view, and then you have all of the other views. This has the 360 camera system, and then you've got the zoom in on the receiver hitch. Now, depending on the trailer that you have will determine kind of how you actually use this camera system itself. Most trail, well, any trailer, this backup camera is going to be pretty much obsolete because it's going to block the view of that. But for some of the trailers, depending on how big they are, some of these other cameras might be able to help. So the front camera might be able to help if you're having issues there, but probably not. The camera that's most likely going to help the most is just going to be that bird's eye view because obviously it kind of gives you like a little trajectory right here. And so, yes, you're going to have a little bit of an issue with that whole area right there because you won't be able to see where, what your trailer is doing. But you have a better idea with the truck and everything. And then obviously with the new trailer steering system, that's all going to kind of help out on that. And then finally with the rest of the infotainment system, this is unchanged. It's all the same. There's nothing new happening here. You guys can see everything is all the same with that. You still get the dual screen function with the 12-inch display. You can still deploy the steps if you want. Still get heated and ventilated seats, which we're going to turn that up because it's kind of warm today. But yeah, everything's the same there. Coming over here, you still get the limited embroidery and all that, and you can see with the center console, all the stuff that that has, and you can see none of this is really changing. The only thing that's different, there's no CD player. Still get USB, still get the wireless phone charging, still get the full power outlet with this, and then coming over the glove boxes, still get the little dual glove box here with the limited. Nice materials all around on the glove box, on the dash. Like Material-wise, the limited, definitely top line, better than any other truck on the market from like an interior material standpoint. And then popping up top here, we've got the universal garage door opener. And then 
Yep, we've got the power sliding window. And then we have the panoramic sunroof. And while that's opening, you guys notice this has a traditional mirror. And the thing that I have noticed with the new Rams is they can't have both, or maybe the truck just hasn't been ordered in that way. I have not seen a truck with the camera mirror and with the trailer steering. I've seen them with one or the other, but I haven't seen them with both. So I don't know if it's like an ordering thing, but that's just what I've seen so far. And we have a panoramic sunroof that's a little bit dirty, but it's a sunroof nonetheless. Now that we're done going over the interior on the Limited, let's quickly get into pricing. So in terms of pricing on this particular Limited, it stickers for about $70,000 with all the options it has before any type of market adjustment. Now the new trailer steering system is part of the trailer tow group, which is a $995 option. So what it gives you is the trailer steering here. It gives you the mirrors. It gives you the trailer brake control, and it also gives you tire pressure monitoring sensors for your trailer tires as well. So it's a 995 option that gives you four different options included in it. And that all being said, let's take this limited out and see how it drives. Let's quickly talk about visibility before we set off here in the 1500 Limited. So you can see visibility of the hood is unchanged. And of course, we're low on fuel. Anyways, see visibility through both the mirrors. We've got another ram creeping up behind us. And then you can see visibility all throughout the rear. So just in general, visibility in this truck is really solid. And that all being said, let's set off. Well, we are initially setting off here in the 1500 Limited. And before we get into kind of like the main topic of today's video with the trailer backup system and all of that, let's actually just go over the normal stuff, right? With the road noise and the ride quality. So I'm actually gonna lower it down into the normal ride height setting. So it kind of goes smoother. The off-road too, great for ground clearance, not great for ride quality though. The higher the truck, the worse the ride quality, the lower it is to the ground, the better the ride quality. And you guys can see it's in that eco mode that's new for the 2021 model year. When you are driving at a, like a normal person, then you get the uh, eco button saying, hey, you're getting good fuel economy. But from the road noise and ride quality perspective, super solid, definitely like luxury feel. This really is a luxury truck. And something that I'm noticing with this is I'm so used now to that camera mirror that now that this one doesn't have it, it's kind of weird. Like it's, it's interesting. I kind of like became acclimated to just having a camera in the mirror now that I've driven a couple of these new Rams with that camera mirror system. But it's cool having the power folding trailer mirrors has definitely been something that people have wanted for a really long time. So like helps out with the visibility in general. And coming up to our uh, famous stoplight right here, see how the brakes are, pretty good. And then you guys can see turning radius really solid with the truck. Definitely drives smaller than it actually is. You can see what the minor acceleration does good. And since that person's turning in there, we got a chance to use the brakes again a little bit. I definitely like the brakes on the Ram 1500. They're really solid. So like when you have a trailer behind the truck, it still does a really good job with the braking. And of course we run into traffic. Now let's get our acceleration here at the Ram 1500. Let's see if we can catch up to this Prius. Oh buddy. Yeah, so the 5.7 Hemi with the e-torque, definitely solid. And again, with the trailer behind this truck, it does a really good job. I have a couple of friends that have 1500s with the same axle ratio as this, and they never have any complaints with the towing. Again, 5.7 Hemi, 392 axle ratio, just does an amazing job. And let's actually get into the trailer steering system, then summing things up with the truck in general. So my overall thoughts on the trailer steering system, I think it's a really cool system. Definitely another cool piece of tech to help make towing a whole lot easier, a whole lot less stressful. Is it a necessity? No, it's not. I mean, you can definitely maneuver a trailer fine, but the system does make the maneuvering a whole lot easier, um, being computer controlled and all that, where you're just kind of giving it a little bit of guidance versus trying to maneuver it yourself. Being able to just literally go from side to side, so much easier. So just from like, an ease standpoint, it makes things easier, but is it a necessity? I wouldn't say so. But for $995 getting the mirrors and the trailer brake and the steering system, I definitely think it's worth it. I just need to figure out if you can get that with the mirror because I think it's weird that you can't get both. If you could get both, I definitely recommend it. If you can't, well, then you gotta choose. Do you want the trailer steering system or do you want the cool mirror? 
choice is yours. That is gonna sum things up for our video on this 2021 Ram 1500 Limited with the new trailer steering system. Again, a huge shout out and thank you to the Dodge Ram here in Sandy for providing us with the truck. Check out their inventory in the link below. I will see all of you in the next video.